Sometimes you may need to launch command prompt in a specific folder in Microsoft Windows. Let's look at how you can do it quickly. A lot of times if you launch command prompt, it launches it right in your user directory. For example, mine is C users video recording. But a lot of times you need to launch it uh, in a specific folder. So you have to navigate. For example, you, you may go get to the root folder and you have to execute multiple commands. Windows provides shortcut and allows you to launch it right in the folder where you want it to be. To do it, you launch File Explorer, navigate to the folder where you'd like to be. So for example, if you want to launch Command Prompt window right inside the temp folder, you navigate to temp folder. Then in the folder bar, you type CMD and it launches it right uh, in the temp folder and you can start executing command right for the temp folder. If you'd like the content, please make sure to click the like button, share with your friends, and subscribe to my channel. By default, when you launch command prompt in Windows, it launches it under standard user account, which provides you limited access to scripting environment. But a lot of times, you may need to run Windows command prompt as administrator. To run command prompt as administrator, you click the start button and type either CMD, or you can also type command prompt, the full name of the command. And here, before clicking on this, you do a right mouse click and select Run as Administrator. Windows prompts you, are you sure this is really one, what you want to do? Because this provides this command window administrative permissions. Uh, and we click Yes here. And you see that um, in the upper right corner, it shows Administrator colon command prompt right here. And this is a good way to differentiate between regular command prompt, which we're just going to launch to compare. So we type it again. And you see there are two command windows. One is administrator column command prompt and another one is just command prompt. What are the other features of Windows 10 you use on a daily basis? Can you please post them in the comments of this video so we all can learn? Thank you very much. If this video was helpful, make sure to click the like button in your browser. Also, please help your friends to learn this topic faster by sharing this video with them. And if you would like to be the first one to know about new videos to help you reach your goals faster, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Make sure to check out my other relevant videos and subscribe to my YouTube channel. We have a lot of great stuff planned in the pipeline and I don't want you to miss any of it. And if you'd like to get notified about all the new stuff that are coming out, make sure to subscribe to my email list as well. All links are here on the screen. Make sure to click to stay in touch. Thanks again for watching.